This is the evolution of the Triceratops. So the 1900s Triceratops is actually quite recognizable to today. It's quite a rare instance. But of course, its tail is drippy and its horns are way too short. Then we move on to the 1980s, the nose horn is too long, though the face horns do get a bit longer. It also seems to be starving, it's shrink wrapped, and of course its limbs are quite thin. Then we move on to the 1990s Triceratops, which has a much more recognizable face that surprisingly holds up quite well to today. And its body, despite being quite shrink wrapped as a whole, is generally recognizable. And in the 2010s, we've got a Triceratops with more curvature in its horns. The Triceratops also has quite a lot of quills, and that brings us to today. No quills, but quite a bit of scaliness, as well as a great amount of bulk, with a short nose horn and long face horns, used for interest species competition, display, and of course, goring the Tyrannosaurus. What do you guys think of the Triceratops evolution? Let me know in the comments down below.